Welcome to our innovation space on The Crunch, guys, and I have somebody who has created something truly groundbreaking. With me in the studio today is Osas Omije, and no, first, what's, welcome to The Crunch. That's, I think that's the proper way to start. Yeah. Now, before I tell you guys what he does, what do you do for a day job? What's your nine to five? Um, well, uh, primarily I work in, I work with a university, um, okay. Federal University of Petroleum Resources. All right. And so there I'm a research assistant uh, and among, I'm among a team of engineers that build uh, vehicles. Fantastic. So we're currently working on a project right now. And so then after that, I run about four different businesses on my own. Yeah. Wow. So to, to be able to give my ideas out to the world. Yeah. Now, can you tell us about this innovation of yours? Okay, uh, it's a it's a it's a control system, like a touchless control system. Mm -hmm. Basically, it allows people to operate uh, devices like phones or ATMs uh, without having to to make physical contact with them. So, uh, and it is it's magical because it's uh, it, it's like a like like a future futuristic technology yes. in the hands of. Uh, uh, common people. Truly incredible. How did you come up with that concept? Okay. Well, um, it, I first of all I had this uh, physical challenge okay. of um, sweating on my palms a lot. Okay. Whenever I'm doing anything, anything really, really intensive, I all tend right. to sweat a lot on my palms. Okay. So when I when I'm sweating, it's really difficult to operate my phones. That's true. That you, that you have to touch the screen. So once sweat interferes with the capacity reactance of the yeah. screen. It, it starts to to respond to spurious inputs. Even okay. when you don't press something, it, it's okay. it as, if, as if you pressed it. So that was a challenge for me, and I decided to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And I, I realized that I knew a lot about technology. I knew some basic things, mm -hmm. and I realized that I just believed in myself that if I put one or two together, uh, with the help of God, I can do something about that problem. And that was what inspired the, the whole concept. So how many years has it been since that inspiration to your present reality? Till now? Yeah. Uh, it's been, it all started in 2012. Um, okay. So after I, I there, was, there was some major failures along the way. So okay. it took a couple of years for, yeah. for, this, for me to perfect it. Mm. And so as of 2014, that was when uh, everything worked. You perfected perfectly. it. Yeah. And what kind of response are you getting? Are there any organizations interested in partnering with you or anything? Yeah, of course. Uh, there are a few organizations interested, mostly startups, not really okay. the big companies they established. yet. Okay. And then, then w the University of Benin is supposed to be working with the government to, okay. to like get a patent for the technology. Oh, okay. So we're working on that right now. So it's, is it the university's um, property or it's yours? It's my property. It's yours, yeah. okay, but they are working with you yeah. to patent to it. To encourage other students, because it was actually a final year project. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And what, what do you see this becoming or how do you see this evolving in the long term? How can people utilize this? Yeah, in the long term, um, people, people, people will utilize it in, in uh, applications such as ATMs. For okay. example, I think there was a time when Ebola was really rampant. Mm. If we had this kind of technology then, you wouldn't have to worry about uh, contacting those uh, mm. bodily sweat transmitted infections mm. from using ATMs because mm -hmm. people will not even have to touch the ATMs. Yeah. And then for people who use uh, smartphones, mm -hmm. I think it would be nice to be able to pick to type a text message even when you're eating Amala or something. So that would be fantastic. It's really cool. <laughs> and the applications are, are limitless. It's just a matter of time. More will still come up. And just before we go, are there any other inventions that you have that you can tell us about? I know, I know you probably don't want to let too much out of the bag, but have you created anything else you want to share? Yeah. Uh, recently, I created something called SEEN. Okay. S-E-E-N. Okay. Yeah, it's a face recognition system All right. that allows uh, students to log into their school portal without the use of passwords or anything. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, for fantastic. example, you, you have an email address mm -hmm. and you forget your password or your username. All the time. You don't mm -hmm. need to worry about that. Just mm -hmm. uh, put your face in front of your webcam and then mm -hmm. you're, you're in. Wow. And it's really cool. Thank you. Thank I do mm -hmm. so a couple of other things too. Okay. Uh, like the businesses I told you about. Mm. Uh, this technology is going to be going far. So yeah. very soon I won't have time to teach. I teach people technology too. Okay. So very soon I won't have time to. So I've created a platform called eLearn, right. where people can learn anything they want to learn from the internet. 
Wow. I'll be teaching a lot there for now before you I eventually pull, into move full time and into this. Full time everything. Yeah. You know, we like to think sometimes that Nigeria doesn't really have as much advancement technology-wise as the rest of the world, but OSAS has proven us, and I'm very happy to say this, has proven us wrong. It's such a pleasure to meet you and such a pleasure to hear about all the things you're doing. We look forward to seeing and to hearing about your different advances and, of course, having you back on here to talk about all the new things you're developing. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, we're going to take a quick break now. We'll be right back.